you so much for watching the Press Avenue YouTube channel. My name is John and we talk about WordPress tutorials to help you with your business websites, personal websites, and everything in between. In a previous video, we talked about how to guarantee email deliverability from your website using WP SMTP. So the plugin I talked about is right here. Um, it's a WP Forms product and it basically replaces the PHP Mailer plugin that essentially comes with WordPress and lets you use SMTP from Gmail, from Outlook, um, from uh, Mailgun and SendGrid. A pro option that's available with this is the ability to see an email log. So you might be asking yourself, John, what do I need an email log for? And it actually comes up quite a bit when working with um, nonprofit clients and even larger clients that I work with is how can I prove that WordPress sent the email? Um, and an email log does just that. It shows, hey, so-and-so filled out this contact form or they bought this product and the receipt was sent off. Um, but XYZ server didn't receive it or blocked it or something happened, it bounced, etc. So without a log, you would never know any of this information, but with a log, you would. So if I scroll down here, um, these are part, some of these are part of the pro version. Email log is one of those things. You can only do it with the pro version. If we take a look at the pricing here, um, I think it's worth its weight in gold, especially when working with larger sites. But the Pro is $49 a year, which is super cheap, uh, especially for the support you receive. It's actually pretty good. Um, you get email controls, email logs, which is what we're talking about today. You can use Amazon SES. Um, I believe G Suite's in the free one, so is this. Office 365 or Outlook is in the Pro one where you can connect to those and you use the SMTP via Outlook or 365. Uh, SendGrid is in the free one, so is Other, but you get one year download support and updates, and the biggest thing is the support. Uh, for 49 bucks, you couldn't write a plugin or a custom service to do this anyway, so paying 50 is really easy. Um, the 99 essentially just adds this white glove setup, so you can just say, hey, set this up for me, and they do it, and that's incredible for 99 bucks, especially since they wrote the plugin. They can go into your site, ask questions, and get it done. And everything from there up is for developers or agencies at 20 sites or 100 sites, which is a ton, um, to get that kind of pro version. But as my previous video, which I'll link right up here on the top right, shows you can do a lot with the free one. But the email logs that we're going to talk about today, you do need that pro one. So to get the pro, you pay the $49 or whatever if you're an agency to get it more. Um, you log in and you go to licenses and you actually download the WP Mail SMTP Pro plugin. So it's an add-on in addition to that free one. So I'll go ahead and hit download. Um, I hid my key, but your key would be right here. And then once it's downloaded, you head over to the website you want to add it to. Go to plugins and then go to add new. Give this a minute to wake up. There we go. We'll go to upload. Choose, uh, there it is, install, and give it a minute to install. You can see in the bottom it says it's waiting for the site. So I'll we'll activate it, and it just says two because I've downloaded it twice to the downloads folder. Um, WP Rockets, a caching plugin that I have. So I'll go ahead and clear that. And then it says, oh, I was wrong, it says, um, you have to deactivate the free one. So I thought it was an add-on, it's not. Um, so I will, so if I click activate, it should say it one more time because it cleared it. Yeah, please deactivate. I don't want to, what if an email gets sent? So I'll go deactivate, scroll down the bottom, activate, I oh, wish it didn't do that because this site sends a lot of emails. So I'll go to clear the cache one more time. If you don't have a caching thing, don't worry about it, but that's what that is. All right, so now we'll go to settings and then we'll put in our license key. 
So I'm going to pause it so you don't see it. So I paste it in the key, and then when you click verify, um, it then says your license key type is pro, and then you can deactivate it. If I scroll down here, everything I previously set up with SendGrid, which was simply an API key, still remains, which is great. But now, um, before I could go to email test, um, which is fine, um, so I can send a test email to myself, um, I can go to email log, which now says enable log. Keep a record of basic details from emails sent from your site. This will allow you to view both general information such as date sent, subject, email status, and technical information of all headers, including to CC and BCC for all sent emails. What's great about these logs is you have proof that this stuff is working. Um, so right now I'm dealing with an error with a client um, where I can show, hey, this site is definitely sending this stuff. Um, now we just gotta work out what happens along the way. So I'll say keep, keep a record of all content from the emails on your site. This may contain personal information. So I actually don't want this on. I just want the log and the headers so we can go through the technical information to make this stuff work. So I go to save, email controls. This again is not on on the free one, but it is on on the pro one, which is fantastic. So WordPress by default will send out emails from many events on your site. Using the toggles below, you can decide which emails you'd like enabled. Comments awaiting moderation, you can turn that on or off. Published, a comment has been published. You can turn that on or off. Site admin email change attempt, those are great to leave on. Site admin email changed, I leave all that stuff on. Reset password request, success, the actual request itself, the password changed. Email changed attempt, email changed, and then personal stuff. User confirmed export erase request, um, admin erase data, um, status, so failure for background updates, man, I might turn that off, it depends. And then a full log of updates, and then new users years created. So you can turn all those off, it's controls you otherwise wouldn't get uh, anywhere else, which is great. And then under miscellaneous, um, these are all available to you when you have the free version. So I just turn off the announcements because I have Twitter and Facebook and I see it all on there anyway. And then I hit save. So that's it for the email log. We'll give it a few hours to stack up some emails so we can show you the log itself. I said I was gonna wait hours, but stuff's already come in in about, I think it's been 15 minutes, not sure. Not that long. Um, so email log up here on the main screen is simply to turn this on. On the left-hand side under WP Mail SMTP, you'll see email log. So I'll go ahead and click that. And here's a bunch of Gravity Form submissions, but it could be any forms. It could be WP Form, Contact Form 7, anything that tells WordPress, hey, send an email out, and this thing grabs it and gets it. So I'll just click this bottom one here, the test email to myself, and it shows the email details. So it says over here on the far right, it says log details. The mailer was SendGrid. There are no attachments. And this particular log ID happens to be one, and then you can delete it. Um, email details, it was created today at 1.40 p.m. It went to me, it was from them, and this is the subject. So that's kind of the very basic. The technical details, which is hidden in this accordion, says a little bit more information. So it says the date, who it's from, the message ID, the mailer, which is WP Mail SMTP, slash mailer slash send grid, and then has the number, probably the version, uh, what it was, the version, etc. So this snippet here, you could send to your IT guy or mail department and say, hey, this was sent out. Do you see this? What happened? Was it blocked, etc. I will say if you want to drill down further within send grid, mail gun, Pepipo, all of them, you can find those headers by searching and see, hey, the mail server rejected it. Um, or it bounced, or whatever error code happened to see if your receipts or notifications or emails or leads or anything that your site produces via email is coming to you or your recipient. So it's a nice way to see that WordPress is doing what it should have been doing in the first place. 
Well, again, thank you so much for watching. My name is John, and I love creating WordPress tutorials on YouTube just for you. We have a Facebook group, facebook.com slash press, sorry, facebook.com slash group slash press avenue is our group. This is our page itself. Um, within the community group, you can ask questions about this tutorial or any other ones or anything we haven't covered. Uh, lastly, this uh, mailing plugin, WP Mail SMTP, it's in the WordPress repo if you just search for this and you can do the free one um, and get mail sent out very easily. Or you can get the pro one on their website um, for the pricing we showed before. I do think this is a must have for agencies, for any e-commerce sites or ones that are generating a lot of leads and that need those emails to go out to several people. Um, you never want to drop the ball on this stuff. You want to make sure you're uh, on it. So thank you so much for these guys for producing this product. Again, give us a thumbs up if this was helpful. Leave a note in the comments. I love talking to you guys and replying and just seeing what you're up to and if this helps in any way, shape, or form. Lastly, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and the little bell next to it, and you'll be notified of more WordPress tutorials just like this. Thank you so much for watching.